Hey everyone, if you were just on What's Up Wednesday, I apologize. I was trying to go live off site and I don't have all of my cameras and good stuff here. I was touring this beautiful Tuscany and if you didn't catch the What's Up Wednesday live, I'm gonna start over and just show you this gorgeous, gorgeous plan. Um, let me flip it around here and kind of show you what I have going on. Maybe, maybe not. All right, you guys, check out this floor plan. Oh my gosh. So in this plan, there is no bad views. I love walking in to this Tuscany. What we've done in here with this couple is we've done 10 foot ceilings with the vault. That vault really opens it up. It just really gives you a lot more feel of volume but again you guys there are no bad views if you notice the brochure online the brochure does show a closed wall in our tuscany kitchen i love to play with these plans and kind of change up the design so in this one we have opted to do the open wall butterfly island kitchen so this one seats about six to eight at this uh overhang here in the kitchen on their butterfly island but you can probably fit more in there. You do also have an option in this kitchen to do a rectangular, like a big chunky rectangular island. Um, I have needs and wants for both of them depending on the buyer. I like that this one gives you a little bit more countertop space for working, but I also like that the big chunky island gives you um, a little bit more cabinet space. So it really just depends on how you're best gonna use this space. In here, they did opt for the dovetail soft close coconut colored cabinets. Um, my buyer has something really sweet in mind for his bride on the top up there. So I'm just going to leave that alone and not say any more because it's still a surprise and this couple is closing on Monday. But I just love all of the space that this one affords. Now at the back, what I call the rear hall entry off the garage, you have this beautiful oversized laundry room you've got views so you don't feel trapped in here but it's a great size laundry room plenty of storage i've seen people shiplap this wall i've seen so many different uh things with this room then here in the rear hall you also have the pantry i call it the costco closet because holy moly there is storage aplenty in there so great storage this couple opted, all of our plans have oversized garages from the get-go, 24 by 24 on average, but this couple opted for a four-car garage. Holy smokes, you guys. You could literally pull a car into one bay and pull it out the other bay. This four-car garage, he is a car buff, so he is gonna be using all of this space, but I love that the carriage-style garage doors that come with the Craftsman-style plans allow all this additional light. Heck, you could even probably land a plane in here. Now, let me show you these front doors. Holy smoke, she picked some gorgeous doors, you guys. In this kitchen, rear hall, back to the front doors, 10 foot ceilings allowed for some gorgeous, gorgeous nine foot doors there. I am in love with these doors. You can't really see it from here, but there is rain. It's called the rain glass. Oh, love, love that glass. Let's check out the master. So when you're coming down the split hall, master is off to one side, secondary bedrooms and hall bath to this side. So in your hall bathroom, I did say master, but I'm gonna show you this, one piece tub and shower unit, or you can opt for a full walk-in shower. Great oversized vanity. Quick access for your kiddos or guests into bedrooms three and bedroom two, both great sizes. I'm a terrible photographer. This is why I do real estate, y'all. <laughs> Let me show you the master. Check out this linen closet. There are five shelves. It's a dual closet, so you've got storage on both sides. Linen's aplenty, so you better have some guests. Fill that baby up. Then here in the master suite, they did opt. Do you, can you see that beautiful tall basin casing? It is gorgeous. So in here, taller basin casing, walk-in closet, 
Great storage. And with those 10-foot ceilings, you guys, you could technically get in here and do a couple more rows of shelving in here. You could really get crazy in there. Then in the master bathroom, something I recommend quite a bit to folks is if you're not going to be utilizing knee space to sit down, and she has a toddler, so let's face it, that is not happening. She opted for the drawer stack like one of my other buyers had done. But one of the cool things that is an option is I've kind of revamped this bathroom, taken out the linen closet. In the brochure, you'll see a linen closet right here with a three and a half foot shower. Well, this allowed a five foot shower. We took the linen closet out because holy moly, you've got storage in the hall. Plus storage here and storage behind me and this vanity, plenty of space. We also opened this wall up and made it a knee wall to just allow extra lighting in here so it's nice and open. I love it. I love it, you guys. Now I wanna show you this staircase. You are gonna die. The staircase is one of the main reasons that this plan sells so well. Everyone is in love with the atrium. Let's face it, the atrium, again, no bad views. But what I love about the atrium is you can do it with or without a walkout. This home site is an in-grade home site, so it doesn't allow a walkout door at the basement. But look at this staircase, you guys. It is still just gorgeous. I mean, literally, you still get the appeal of a beautiful atrium without the additional triple window and glass door at the base of the stairs. Let's take a trip down here and just show you. One of the favorite places, a lot of my clients that have little ones or grandkids, they love this space down here. So some folks will finish this lower level, some will not. But this little hidden gem is my favorite. We started putting the light back here just for it. <laughs> Look how cute this little under the stair cubby is. You can plant yourself down here with some toys, mount a little TV on that wall. Your kids have a little private playroom. It'd make a super cute dog house too. That's just me because my babies are, are big. But this basement is monstrous. I mean, literally. This is a 1,700 square foot plus plan. So this lower level has nearly 1,700 square foot. So there are so many different ways you could finish this basement, putting in bedrooms, bathrooms. They've got a little rough in here. They're ready to go. This makes a phenomenal tucked in, like tucked away bar space. Great space, but just tons of room. And I don't know if you noticed, but all of the mechanicals are kind of tucked together and they're tucked in a corner. So you can close off that area, have a mechanical slash storage room and utilize the rest of the space for bedrooms, rec room or whatever your heart desires. Now I'm gonna take you outside and then I'm gonna let you get back to work because I know y'all are slacking at work, taking a look at this plan. Again, check out these views, you guys. Who would not want to wake up to this? I love it. Out the front door. This is Elevation C, Tuscany. One of my most popular elevations. I love it. Had to lock this door so nobody caught me in here. <laughs> Let me show you the outside. Big porch so you can decorate for whatever holiday comes your way. Nice private walk. But wait till I get outside and show you what this looks like from the street. You guys, it's amazing. And again, no two Tuscanies are alike. So Elevation C allows for the vinyl shake, the additional stonework, the cute little dormer, and look at how gorgeous her doors look. Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys, Tuscany, Elevation C, closing on Monday. You could be next. Our next closings are pushing into February, March. So just in time for spring, give me a call and let's get you into one of your very own. Have a great day.